great night sky pictures from a tiny telescope, perfect for van life. Hey, Guy here, welcome back to Amore Van. When we first got our, our embassy RV, one of the things we were really excited about was the ability to go to places with really dark skies so we can see a lot of stars. Because at home, uh, we live in a very light polluted area and there just aren't that many stars in the night sky. Uh, well, we considered from the very beginning bringing a, a telescope, getting a you know, really good telescope and bringing it with us so that we could see some deep space objects uh, taking advantage of the dark skies. But we soon discovered that high quality telescopes are you know, pretty big and that uh, that would just take up too much room uh, when we're out on long trips in our van. Uh, but not anymore. Uh, recently, I discovered a device called the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope from Dwarf Lab. Um, and uh, it's uh, really co compact and yet it takes amazing deep sky pictures. I thought I would just bring it to your attention um, in case uh, you're like us and, and you love uh, looking at, uh, at the stars at night and are wondering, is there a way that you can see more? Um, so first, let me show you why I chose this device. And it's because it is so small um, that it's easy to fit in the van. Uh, that's it. That's the case that the device comes in. And, the, and uh, the device itself is really only about half the size of this case. There's just a couple of accessories in the case. So um, there you can see how small the Dwarf 3 is. Um, and maybe someday I'll give you a full uh, demo, but, uh, but for now, uh, let me just explain to you basically how it works. <clears throat> um, once this device is properly set up uh, on a tripod, um, it works automatically. Um, that's why it's called a smart telescope, meaning that <clears throat> all you have to do is tell it uh, essentially what it is you want it to find in the sky and, uh, it, and configure it to take photographs. So um, how does it do that? Well, the motors can rotate it uh, both on this axis and also on this axis. Okay. Um, so that way uh, it can turn itself around and find whatever object it is that you want to photograph in the night sky. Um, now, uh, it's, it's a telescope, but it's not a traditional telescope like with an eyepiece that you look through. It's a telescope specifically designed for taking astrophotography. Um, so it will find the object you ask it to find. Uh, it, uh, you will configure how many uh, frames of that object uh, you want it to take. And I won't get into all of the bells and whistles about astrophotography in this short video. Um, uh, but the beautiful thing is that it does it all for you uh, and uh, and produces some amazing photographs uh, that I'm going to show you in a second. So once again, it's uh, uh, it's the nice compact Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. Um, to use it, you just need a tripod uh, to go with it. Um, there are some other bells and whistles that, uh, that you can attach to the tripod that will make your life a little bit easier. Um, um, but all that's really required is uh, a tripod with a tilt feature um, uh, and, uh, and this device and you are good to go. So uh, now let me show you some of the amazing pictures I've gotten already um, in, in just the uh, month or so that, that we've owned this device. Um, so here you go, take a look at these pictures. Ground control to major tom. Ground control to Major Tom Take your protein pills and put your helmet on Ten Ground control nine, to Major Tom eight, seven, six, Commencing five, countdown engines four, on Three Two Check ignition one, our main on. This is ground control to Major Tom. You've really made the grade. And the papers want to know whose shirt you wear. Now 
it's time to leave the capsule if you dare. So those were some amazing pictures, right? And, and uh, one of the incredible things about it is that all of those pictures that you just saw, except for the last one, were taken from our light polluted backyard at home. Um, because the, uh, the scope is equipped with internal filters that will filter out a lot of the uh, light pollution um, and then also additional uh, denoising of the photograph uh, happens uh, afterwards. <clears throat> and so we can get some really good pictures even at our home and then even better pictures when we're in a night sky, uh, dark night sky area. Uh, uh, and when we get out west to the dark sky parks, uh, we're really gonna enjoy this. Um, if, uh, if this is of interest to you, in the, in the description to this video, I'm leaving a link um, that will take you to the Dwarf Lab uh, website where you can uh, buy the product if you want. I'll talk a little bit about price. So uh, right now, this is selling for about um, $600. Now, $600 obviously is not nothing, um, but if you're at all familiar with the cost of quality telescopes, uh, they can be several thousand dollars um, and they're too big to bring in your van. So um, if this is a, uh, a hobby that might be of interest to you, like it was to, to us, um, then $600 is actually not, uh, not so bad. And then you'll need a quality tripod to go with it. Um, so that's it, uh, the Dwarf uh, 3 from Dwarf Labs. Uh, link is in the description. Um, I hope as always that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing to our channel by clicking the Amore Van link that just popped up on your screen. We'll see you next time. We hope you found this helpful and we'll see you next time here at Amore Van.